This is the 2022 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. I took uh, delivery of this vehicle about two days ago and I've been driving it around for the past couple of days. Performance wise, I would say this is probably one of the best cars I have ever driven. It is fast, it is quiet, it is comfortable and very fun to drive. It goes from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and it has a top speed of 145 miles per hour. The exterior looks amazing and I'm very happy that I went with the midnight metallic silver paint. When I placed my order in 2021, I had to pay a thousand bucks to get this color. But at the beginning of 2022, Tesla made this color a free option. Um, so if you place your order at the beginning of 2022, um, then you're in luck because you will save a thousand bucks if you choose this color. I also upgraded the wheels to the 19 inch sport wheels um, and this cost us 1500 bucks. The 19 inch sport wheels gives the car a more sporty look than the standard 18 inch aero wheels. But keep in mind that if you go along with this uh, upgrade you would lose uh, about 24 miles of driving range. Uh, this is because the 19 inch uh, sport wheels are not as efficient um, as the standard 18 inch aero wheels. The last upgrade I have on this car is the white interior. Um, I'm the only driver of this car. I do not have passengers on a regular basis. I do not have kids. So keeping it clean is not going to be an issue for me. Now, I was supposed to take delivery of this vehicle um, somewhere between November 16 and December 14, 2021. But I decided to postpone it for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that I did not want to take delivery of a 2021 Model 3 in December of 2021 for obvious reasons. By the time I have the car, it has already been a year old or perceived to be a year old, um, even if that's not actually the case. Regardless, I decided uh, to wait for a month or two so I can get the 2022 Model 3. The second reason was that I wanted to wait to be eligible for the Biden EV tax credit if it passes into law. Uh, there was a lot of talk that if this law passes, it will go into effect in January 1st of 2022. But unfortunately, this law never passed uh, and there is no EV tax credit for Tesla at this time. And it doesn't look like there will be one anytime soon. So, as I mentioned before, I took delivery of this car two days ago. And you might ask, how did my delivery go? Was there any issue with the car? Things like panel gaps, panel misalignments, paint issues, which was very common in cars produced in 2019, 2020, and 2021. So the question is, do this problem still exist in the 2022 Model 3? That is the topic for the next video. I'll take you along with me while inspecting both the interior and the exterior of the car to see if there is any panel gap, panel misalignment, paint issues or any other defect um, on this 2022 Tesla Model 3. Please go ahead and like this video if you find it useful um, and consider subscribing 
so that when the next video is out you will be notified thanks for watching this video peace